Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have Throwback Thursday for you. It was a little bit of a different Thursday. It will be for the next couple weeks, but we'll explain, I'll explain here in a moment. If you guys were tuning in last Thursday, um, I had asked that two people select, and the first two people who selected a wax melt, I would pick that wax melt for the first week for the first person who commented, the second Thursday for the second person who commented, and I decided to pick the third week. So anyway, um, reason being is I'm traveling and I don't plan, was never going to bring the candles with me. Um, I haven't been away on holiday for over a year and a half, so I'm gonna go visit some family. So long story short, I can definitely pack wax melts. I just can't pack candles. <laughs> can you imagine? Anyway, so this week's Throwback Thursday was selected by Luke D. Hello, Luke. And this week he decided to pick sugar and spice soy, uh, soy gourmet soy candles, sorry, and in a lemon curd and marshmallow. There is it's this very self-explanatory when it comes to the review. It is a lemon curd, so like true lemon sugar goodness, and marshmallow, so nice creamy whipped scent that the two together smell amazing. I don't hold back. I know some people are like, oh, like another vendor. I will tell you, this is very much, very close to Vintage Chic Scents Princess of Monaco, which I can't get my hands on. So I am, there's no shame in my game telling you guys if this is something similar to somebody else who it's really hard to get. Look, there's so many vendors out there and no one's necessarily copying. Now, mind you, I did see some photographs being copied on Wax Chat and that's a totally different story, but um, I can, uh, I'll explain in a second. Generally, you can go onto a website like Sugar and Spice and be able to order this whenever you want. Um, I did purchase this. I've had this in my possession since December, which means I probably purchased it in September. Had it sent to a friend of mine in the States, waited till the box got full, and then I got it in the, um, in, this say December? I'm in October. Anyway, um, my sweet spot, the best time for me to start melting my sugar and spice is between two and three months from pour, which this has obviously hit. My scent appeal on cold, 10 out of 10. My scent appeal while warmed, 10 out of 10. And the throw, a 12 out of 10. This sucker was strong. I haven't, oh my cat just decided to, my cat decided to scale the highest point of my couch and she's the worst jumper ever. Don't ask, <laughs> Willow. Anyway, um, I actually have another lemon curd and marshmallow, I believe, in my collection that I think I might try a little bit of, um, what was I gonna say, like rain or maybe even shaving cream. Might be really nice with it too, just to try something different. But what I did, it's this is very strong, mind you, but I did split half of it and melted half in each one of my warmers. Um, I could have gotten away with melting a quarter of a piece in each of my melters and been able to melt this twice as long, sorry guys, as I did. So again, less is more with sugar and spice, sweet spots between two and three months after your order, it. she pours to order. Now this is the unfortunate part for right now. Unfortunately, um, sugar and spice has posted on their website that they're only fulfilling customs right now and otherwise closed and then they will inform us all probably on their Facebook page when they will be reopened. I guess there's some family things going on and I totally understand that. Um, it's just a shame I literally was going, I had literally $140 worth of stuff on my list of things to get and then I found out that she was close, I'm like, darn it. And this, don't you dare forget, don't you dare think I didn't have this on my list. This is 100% repurchase for me. I have gifted it to my friend Ramona. She loves it as well. It is just a beautiful blend um, and the nice thing about sugar and spice is no frills, no muss, no fuss. You can split it, cut it to smaller pieces, or what? I would never melt one full wax melt. Like this is, a, I think it's a an ounce and a half. It's a two ounce scent shot. Um, that's a lot of wax to melt at one time. So anyway, oh come on. There we go. All right. So with that being said, 100% would repurchase. Um, I love this. And as soon as that website's open, my friend and I, who we were going to go together and place an order, and we just can't right now because oh, the site's closed. As soon as it's open, we're definitely there. And trust me when I say it will be a huge order on my end. Um, it's one of an, un an underrated vendor, one of my top vendors, I would say. 
All right, thank you very much, Luke D, for selecting that one. It was very lovely to melt. Now for this next week, so there's no selection, obviously. You're not going to see me holding up candles and wax melts after a couple here. So Krista J selected, she was the next one down on the list who selected Better Homes and Gardens Fresh Veranda Breeze, which is la 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 lemon and jasmine. So I'm really looking forward to melting this. I will be melting this while I'm on vacation. So thank you much, Krista J. I will come back to you all next Thursday on a review on that. And then I decided to pick Mandala Melts Rapunzel, which is lemon curd, fruit loops, and marshmallow. There's a theme here. There's lemon in everything. This is I find March, April really tough months. I'm not a floral person, so I love lemon and that kind of thing. So there you go. I'm gonna, I've got Mandala Melts Rapunzel for the week after that, but we'll talk about that when I review. So I will be in a different place to review this, and I'll be at home when I finally do get to review this. So Anywho, um, thank you guys so much again. I know it's a really quick video, but um, I appreciate your patience and I've definitely, I love Throwback Thursdays. This doesn't happen often. Um, when we get through these three melts, or these next two melts, we'll be back on track with some candles and so on. So as always, you guys, be safe, take care, have fun, happy Easter.